yes, this one is superior, and no, I will not be doing the first movie. I don't really care for that one. And I know the argument is... Hold on, my eye itches. Okay, I know the argument is that this one isn't realistic because how the hell does it happen twice? Firstly, you're considering the fact that they were actually reprimanded the first time. They're incredibly affluent white people in the nicest suburb of Chicago. Do you really think any kind of police report went out? No. So let's just get that part out of the way. Secondly, the entire movie proves that they have not learned anything and that they are actually focusing all the blame on everybody else. Don't get me wrong, I don't have children, but if I have a 10-year-old in one of the busiest airports in the U.S., I'm probably going to hold its hand whether or not I am scrambling to get to the gate. But instead of keeping an eye on the child, she actually, you know, forgot two years ago. She just had the flight attendant make sure everybody got on. Didn't actually give her a number or anything as to how many people are getting on, or maybe there were small children getting on. Just, hey, make sure everybody gets on. Like, she's supposed to read minds. And then they blame the hotel for, like, letting him in. It is your responsibility to watch your kid. It is not the hospitality industries. Like, do you know how big New York City is? I don't really either, but I'm assuming there are a lot of people that go in and out of that lobby every day. And honestly, this could have been easily solved by one of those backpacks with the leashes on it. You know, the ones that look like the little animals. And I understand this was the 90s. They're not going to have the cute ones, but they had leashes for children. Like there's at least four adults and then there's a ton of other teenagers that are pretty much considered adults. Somebody could have been in charge of holding his hand if she couldn't be bothered. And on that note, he has two parents. I know single parents that do a better job at keeping up with their kids. Secondly, this house is the greatest fucking wallpaper. I swear. Like I'm not a wallpaper person, but I would absolutely put up this kind of wallpaper in my home. And lastly, what is this haircut called? I know it's a pixie, but it, like, does it have a particular name? Don't get me wrong, my head's too fat for this, but I'd like to have it on the back burner for my next nervous breakdown. Where are you, Christmas? Why can't I find you? Or my mom, she keeps giving me away.